Hi everybody, my name is Brad Gall. I'm a senior principal consultant here with Pragmatic Works, and today I want to talk to you about how you can save money on your cloud infrastructure as a service implementations. The reason I want to talk about this is a lot of customers we talk to think that when they migrate and lift and shift their infrastructure into Azure, uh, that there's a similar setup to their, their servers there, that it's a one for one copy, and how are you going to save money doing that? Uh, well, the reason is, or how you can save money, is that it's not the same. We're not running hardware servers on-prem now. We're running VMs in the cloud that are highly scalable that we can switch around a lot. A few of the ways we can save the, um, money on that are uh, threefold. One is not all VMs are created equal in Azure. There's a lot of different series of VMs we have out there. There's memory optimized servers, there's compute optimized servers, and then there's just some standard pools of servers. Which server type is the right for the workload that you're running? It might not match what you're running it on, on servers on-prem right now. We might need... Uh, to, you might have a server that you've tubbed out with tons of CPU and, and memory when really it's just the memory that needs to use and that's what you should be targeting when you go to the cloud with that. Uh, another way to save money is do all of your servers really work on the weekends? Are those servers really needing to stay at the level uh, of compute and memory that they have during the week on the weekends when not many people are hitting them? So we can put in processes to scale those down. Uh, that's a ton of time throughout your week. That, that's two, de two days out of seven every week that maybe your servers don't need to be at the level of compute and, and cost that they're incurring during, during the week. And then the third way uh, to, to kind of cut our costs on infrastructure uh, would be to use dev test labs. So a dev test labs is a great feature within Azure. Uh, it is a way we can save on licensing costs. So the SQL licensing or whatever product licensing, Windows licensing on those servers is going to be uh, reduced or free based on the fact that it's a development server. So we're not paying for the SQL server license built into that server as it's running. And also the um, dev test labs have ways, easy ways without having to write any scripting uh, to automatically deallocate the servers at night. So we can set a timer to say at five o'clock at night when our developers go home, they all shut down. And if they forget, who cares? It's automatically gonna go down for us. So there's just a few ways that we can help save money on our infrastructure as a service cost in Azure. If you're interested in talking to us about this a bit more, we'd be happy to talk to you. Uh, click on the link down below and we'll be in touch. Thanks.